It's going to be a busy day. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to the channel hope you're all well and yes as you can see i'm already out and about so my first stop of the day i have got to go to the post office sorting office because yesterday i was out all day and i missed the parcel but i think i know what the parcel is i think it is my delivery from the network winter sale so fingers crossed so yeah let's get inside there and let's go and get my package right so i'm just waiting there for my package so it shouldn't be too long yeah, just got my parcel from the sorting office. It's right here. So I know what this is. Yeah, this is my network winter sale delivery. Yeah, I've ordered more stuff, guys. I can't resist. I just absolutely love network. Like I've said on previous videos, oh, it's just an amazing company. And yeah, at the prices that I was selling the stuff for, I just couldn't say no, really. So I've got five titles in here. And I've got another three yet to be delivered. So um, I'm going to be unboxing these on a separate video, guys. It's a bit noisy, isn't it? Uh, I'll be unboxing these on a separate video, guys. So stay tuned for that. So what am I doing for the rest of the day? Well, I have decided to come to the cinema because there is a certain film which I am really, really hyped to see. It's not a really well spoke about film, I'll be honest. It is a British film and it is a film called Enya's Men. Now, if you're not sure what Enya's Men is, it's a film directed by Mark Jenkin. Mark Jenkin is the guy who done his directorial debut with the film Bait. So if you've never seen the film Bait, I highly recommend that one. I did really, really enjoy that one. It's just a different, unique way of making a film. It's hard to describe, really, but it it's just unique in its own way. So, yes, so I'm about to go and walk down to the cinema now. The showing is at five past 12, I believe. So I'm gonna go and get my tickets. And uh, yeah, but um, I, I'll be honest with you, I didn't even know there was another Mark Jenkins film coming out until I was flicking through Facebook one day. And you know when them little ads come up? And it come up and I was like, another film? Wow. If it's anything like Bait was, then I'm in for a treat. So I was like flicking through and I was like, where can I see this film? And it come out January the 13th in the UK. And I was looking through all the cinemas. But most of the cinemas that were showing it were like art houses. So like special independent cinemas, not like your usual showcase, Odie and that kind of thing. So I was like, oh, I'm not going to get a chance to see this on the big screen. But um, flicking through showcase listings yesterday, there is four showings today of the film. So... I'm going to the 5 past 12 one because I've got plans for tonight so I'm going out tonight so I thought yeah let's go and see uh, Enya at 5 past 12 Enya's men sorry <laughs> but um, yeah I, I am really really looking forward to this it's not a long film it's only on for like an hour and a half so um, yeah but this film is set in 1973 in Cornwall I do know a little bit about the, the synopsis of it a bit of the backstory but um, yeah, I am really, really looking forward to this film. And uh, yeah, we shall see what it's like. So it is not that cold today. It's, it's warming up a little bit. So it's not been as cold as it has been. But we're gonna go in the cinema, guys. And we're gonna get our tickets. We're gonna take our seats. And we're gonna get ready to watch Enya's Men. So come on, guys, come along with me. Yeah, before I go in, I'm just going to give you my thoughts on what I think the film is going to be like. I think this is going to be just a horror fest. I think there's going to be loads of twists and turns in it. I think, yeah, a few surprises. But, uh, yeah, we shall see, guys. So I'm going to stop waffling now. I'm going to go in there, get my ticket, and we're going to go and see Enya's Men. Right, so it looks like I'm in screen one for Enya's Men. And so far, I'm the only guy who's bought a ticket. The only person who's bought a ticket for Enya's Men. 
yeah, check this out, guys. Look, just me in the cinema. It's like my own personal cinema for the morning. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just getting myself comfy now. I am really early because the film doesn't start till five past twelve, but I'm here already, so I might as well just sit and play on my phone for a bit, eh? <laughs> so uh, yeah, stay tuned till after I've watched Enya's Men, and I will tell you what I thought about it. And uh, yeah, I'll give you my review on it. So stay tuned for that, guys. Right then, just out of the cinemas and seeing Enya's Men. Stay tuned, guys, and I'll tell you my thoughts on the film. So, what did I think of Mark Jenkins' latest film, Enya's Men? Well, this was a film that was a very slow moving film from the start. It didn't really have much talking in the film to be honest, there was only a few words spoken. But you didn't really need the talking in this film because I think the, the, the natural beauty of the film carried itself. This was a unique film in its own special way, as in it was shot on different footage. And it, it was set in 1973 this film was. Um, there wasn't many characters in the film because it was mostly based on Enya. So if you watch the film, you'll find that the story is a little bit hard to get into. But once you're into it, and I think it made it a little bit harder that there wasn't many much speaking in the film. I think it was mostly made up with the beautiful scenery of the Cornish coast, of course. And when you mix in that beautiful scenery of the Cornish coast and that grainy footage, I, I just get that really nice feeling about it. It's just, it just adds to like that off. Authenticity of it in a way to give it that really nice feel, but I'll be honest, this film won't be for everyone. It's a like I say, it's a very slow paced film, um, it, it takes a while to get into it. But once you're into the film and you, you get the grasp of the idea of what is going on, um, you, you, you kind of go with the flow, then kind of thing. So I'm not going to say too much about what happens in the film because I don't want to spoil it just in case you do plan on seeing Enya's Men at the cinema. But it is a film that's worth seeing at the cinema definitely because obviously you get that you get that full effect of like uh, like the, the the style of it. The style, like I say, is unique in its own special way, and that's Mark Jenkins' style. But if you didn't wasn't a massive fan of Bait, this film might not be for you. But because I enjoyed Bait. And this film was equally as good, in my opinion, if not better. But, um, yeah, I was the only one in the cinema as well. <laughs> I did get to the cinema quite early, and I thought, hang on, there's going to be a few more people. And in the end, it was just me in the cinema, so I literally had the cinema to myself for that screening at Venues Men, which was cool. Which was really good. But uh, let me know down below in the comments, guys, if this is a film that you'd be interested in going to see at the cinema. Or is it a film you just wait to go on to streaming? Or would you pick it up? Because it is, it is a BFI film, you do get that BFI feel. But I feel quite honoured to go and see it at my local showcase cinema because, like I said, I didn't realise that this was uh, being shown until I, I had a look through and I saw it uh, being advertised. Because I thought this was just a film that was being shown at like art house cinemas, like, uh, like, in, like indie film cinema kind of thing. But yeah, I'm so happy I saw it. It's just a, just a great, great film. And yeah, for that, I'm gonna give it a solid 8.5 out of 10. That is my score for end years, men, guys. Because uh, yeah, it was a good film. Like I say, not for everyone. But um, yeah, definitely. So guys, that is the end of the video for today. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to share. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you all very soon in the next video. Have a great day, guys. Bye.